What happened throughout history with the Jewish people is the question. How did they feel under Islam? There are books written by academics. Now I challenge Joseph, how, how do we come to the conclusion? I can read quotes and quotes and he will read all his snippets and then people will be confused. One simple challenge, one simple challenge. Academics who are recognized by institutions as scholars, wait. Scholars. Yeah, okay. Moshe Gill is the preeminent scholar on Jewish Islamic relations. Read him. Uh, yeah, Moshe Gill is the one who wrote the history of uh, Palestine. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. the Have one. You read him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah you I know. know I. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Have you read Moshe Gill, right? Yeah, I've got both his books. Okay, good. Brilliant. That's so nice. I'm so happy to hear that. Have you read? Have you read Amnon Cohen? Um, no. Okay. Have you read Jacob Lesnar? No. Have you read um, uh, Bernard Lewis? Yes. Uh, okay. You. Which one? And the history. Jews of Islam. Yeah, Jews of Islam. Have you read it? Yes. Have you read the book? Are you sure? Several years ago. What does he say? Okay, what does he say in that book about Mus the Jews and the Muslims? So he okay, he now now we're getting somewhere. He has read the book. Now let's see if he's honest so about I, it. I disagree with Bernard Lewis. Ah. <laughs>no no no wait so now what joseph might do he might come back okay and he might say so he might say that these are exceptional exceptional uh, testimonies and these jewish rabbis they had their personal experiences though they don't represent the overwhelming majority of the jewish people and their views okay for that for that what do we do we go to secondary sources modern scholarship, recent scholars who have studied all of these primary sources, primary testimonies of the Jewish people, and these Jewish scholars will tell you what happened to the Jewish people in these times, and they will give you the general picture, Adnan, not Zionist, Adnan, not well, Zionist. Go to secondary sources, it's oh, wait, my turn to speak Okay, wait, 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 if you're going to stop me, not, if, okay, stop you. okay, okay. Uh, if you are, uh, uh, okay, okay, wait. Like, literally, you've been on 20 minutes, Okay, mate. because I've been, I'm being interrupted. I, I could have finished, yes, yes, I could have finished. Yes, I'm being interrupted. I'm going to walk away unless you shut up, mate. This is ridiculous. Okay, if you want to walk away, no problem. This is ridiculous. If you want to walk away, no problem. This is I'm going to have to finish. Don't throw, don't throw stones at me and expect me ridiculous. to take it. No, Adnan, I'm going to throw I back. I'm going to throw back rocks. I spoke to you for five <laughs> minutes. Of wait, wait, you're wait, for wait, like wait minutes. it's very painful. Bro. This is, it's painful for everyone it's else. Very you painful. Have it. Shut okay, up. okay. You let me let me finish. If you let me finish, I would have finished by finish, now. Finish, please finish. Yeah. That's all we want yeah. you oh to my, do, mate. Finish, no. finish your finish, course. Finish, finish your finish. Finish your course of squeezing me. Finish, finish your course of squeezing. Okay. So Zion Zohar. A Jewish scholar from the US, a recent scholar. I read some primary sources to you, rabbis and their testimonies. Why did I read them? So that you, you can actually hear it from the horse's mouth, as they say, yeah? Eyewitnesses who saw and they described. But then people like this, Zionist propagandists, they come back and say, oh, these are exceptional testimonies. They don't matter. The overwhelming experience of the Jewish people, the norm, you know, the, the norm wasn't this. These are exceptions. The norm. So the norm, for the norm, we have a rule in academia. We go to secondary sources. We go to modern scholars who have studied these ideas, these quotes, and then they give their conclusions. They give their conclusions. They tell you what was the norm. This was the norm. Zion Zohar, a Jewish historian. He's not a Muslim historian, a Jewish historian. He writes, he writes in his book titled A History of Sephardic and Mitzrahi Jewry. On page number eight and nine, he states, Thus, when Muslims crossed the Straits of Gibraltar from North Africa in 711 CE and invaded the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain, Jews welcomed them as liberators from Christian persecution. Born during this era of Islamic rule, the famous golden age of Spanish Jewry, circa 900 to 1200, 300 years. A Jewish historian is saying these 300 years, there were, or this was the golden age of the Jewish people. He produced such luminaries as statesman and diplomat Hazda ibn Chaprut, Vizier and army commander, Shmuel Hanagid or Samuel Hanagid, poet philosophers like Solomon Ibn Gabriel and Judah Halavi. And at the, at the apex of all of them was Moses bin Maimun, also known among 
the Spaniards as Maimonides. Okay, I will stop here because now Joseph, before he has a heart attack, uh, listening to all this, uh, I will stop and I will let him respond. And when he finishes, I will come back with more medicine. This time, this will be surgery. Okay, what I just gave you was the an anesthesia, right? To, you have to put it. it. But, put but, everyone but, to sleep. But, what, right. wait, wait, wait. but when I come back, will be the surgery itself. Okay, okay. go on. Adnan was very gracious in admitting that he put everyone to sleep with his two-hour diatribe. Every Zionist to so, sleep, yeah. So what I'm going to do, for everyone's sake, I'm going to race through a few quotes from the Cairo Geniza. I'm going to race through a few Islamic quotes. I'm going to race through a few examples of what it was actually like to live as a Jew under Islam. So, then. can we time I, it now? Adnan, stop how, 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 talking, how, mate! How, how long? How mate, long are we doing stop this? Stop talking. Let's, well, you had about three, three, let's, let's do three minutes, three minutes. No, let's do. We're Otherwise, three, we're going to... Give him five minutes. Five minutes, minutes no problem. Adnan, you give him five minutes, then three minutes, no, three minutes. we're doing 20 minutes of me because you just spoke for half an hour, and then we can go three minutes. No, 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 no. No, no, wait, wait. And then, and then, and then, stop. Wait, 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 Shut wait, wait. No, no, I'm stop. not shutting up. Stop. No, stop. five minutes, no, five, no, five minutes for him, minutes. and then three minutes, no. three minutes. Because like this, we're going to continue for hours see? upon hours. Look at the count. Five everyone minutes, in the comments. Everyone, five minutes. Everyone in the five minutes. Com everyone in the comments. I want you. Five minutes. Five minutes. Everyone in the comments. I. Everyone in the comments. I want you to watch back. If you're watching this, start timing how long he spoke for and how long I spoke for and then listen to the audacity of this clown say that I'm going to speak for five minutes after you've just spoke for 20 minutes and bought everyone let, let people, the entire crowd has changed no let, let people so decide long. who's a clown here let people yeah, decide so okay. now what we're going to do we're going to you calling me a clown doesn't make me a clown does it I'm the I'm one coming out with sources none. I'm Adnan, the one coming out with sources. Shut up, Five minutes. Adnan, shut five, up. Minutes. Stop five, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. We're gonna we're gonna moderate okay, this Adnan, debate. Five minutes. Adnan, 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 five minutes. No, it's not. To, I'll stop talking when I want to stop. Five talking. minutes. No, I'll stop talking when I want to stop. Okay. Just like you okay. Did. Okay. Wait. 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 Just like because you did, this, this is this is a crybaby. So he's gonna go later on and cry about it. So I'm gonna let him go on. I'm gonna let him go on. And then next time we're gonna do three minutes. Is fine. Is that fine? Okay. Good. Let go on, crybaby. Notice. Notice. Notice how he can't. And notice how. How this lady my will time, not talk now when my, he talks. My time Notice how she will go quiet. Notice how she will go quiet. Start talking. Notice how she will go quiet. I feel sorry for Adnan's wives. I really do. I really wives. Do. Yeah, wives. Yes, wives. I'm sure you have a whole harem. Um, Adnan, I feel sorry. You think I have a harem? You think I'm I have a harem? Sure, I'm sure you do. I feel sorry for each and every one of them oh, because, no, my no, goodness, no, they need to have good ears to listen because you do not stop talking. You're 20 minutes starting even, now. Even when you're, oh, no, you're 20 minutes. If you have 20 minutes to talk, no problem. He can't even let me speak. I can't, I can't even make a joke about his wife. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, you're starting now. Are you going to talk now? Yes. I'm talking, the lady, I'm talking, by the way, I'm, I'm asking this lady behind the camera who's been making noise, me, who's I been making noise when I was speaking, right? Now watch, she will not speak now. For 20 minutes, she will not speak. Watch. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. He's done more time speaking than me. Go on, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Can you continue speaking? Continue speaking, please. Continue speaking, please. Can, so can you continue same. speaking in his time? Can you make that noise you were making at my time some, when he's speaking? Some examples of what it was actually like to live as an ordinary Jew, not from some cherry-picked examples of history that back up his argument, which actually misrepresent what the text says. It's amazing. When you go to the text, he will say things like, it was that the, the, they said, the, 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 what was the word you used precisely? Something like, the Jews that said it was beautiful to live under, I can't even remember the words, how, the protection that they offered. And when I went to the sources, it wasn't talking about Muslims, it was talking about Gentiles, non-Jews in general. But anyway, I'm going to get to the actual... Not my here. time, so I will okay, respond. Okay. I will respond. So here's some examples of the quotes from the Geniza. And my, this is from the Cairo Geniza. This is... Um, so let's go. A man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to pay the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, one of the descendants of Maimonides, uh, the son of Maimonides, sorry, um, for help. Jo Joseph. I had none. Sorry, Let sorry, me speak. sorry, sorry. I, I have a question. I have a quick question. No. Why is she not no. speaking now? Adnan! She is speaking now. Stop touching me, Adnan. I'm not your wife. <laughs> 
someone handling me. Uh, it's, it's halal for Muslim men to touch other other human beings I don't like other than their wives. Stroke my arm. I don't like it. Mommy will smack you soon. I'm gonna touch you with a cold bottle. <laughs> with your miswa. Um, a man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to play the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, Maimonides' son, for help, um, stating that he had been unsuccessful in obtaining any work, although he was willing to work for only one silver dirham daily as a wage. So a man was forced to flee because he couldn't pay the tax. One man. Umar II forbade the dimmer to enter a bathhouse on Friday. Oh, sorry, that's, that's I'll come back to those. 15,000 gold coins, and uh, this is so uh, charging the community in Jerusalem, I believe. 15,000 gold coins until after that, some 6,000 fell on the Jews of Jerusalem. And we gave them 2,500 gold coins until we were out of everything we had. Empty, naked, sad, and poor. Nothing remained to a man in his house, even the dress for himself. Houseware, some of us mortgaged their houses with interest in order to pay, and some of them sold them completely. Many, does this, this, many, many of this was their suffering. Another one from the Geniza. The condition in Jerusalem is torturous and breaks everybody, and the burden is too heavy to bear. The tax of captivity and the compulsion of the ledgers, which is worse than anything. Literally, Adnan will tell you that it was great living as a Jew. When you read what the communities in Jerusalem, when you read what the communities in Fustat, when you read what the communities in all of these places were saying, when it's recorded in their Geniza, in the Geniza, he claims to have. Is the time, is the time there? Adnan. No, no, not that time. The theology of these yes, courts. Yes, that was 1029. So this is all there, the 11th century. All from the 11th century. No, so some of the, th those. Are, so can you, can you give me the chronology so, as well? So yeah, those. those that's that's very relevant. Chronology. When so, are these courts? Actually, Cairo Geniza has documents for 1,000 so, years. So Maimonides was the 13th century. So his son, that was the, the 1200s. The one, the, the last two I read were the 11th century. So we've just got two centuries of the time that Adnan is saying is the golden era for Muslim, for Jews, or just immediately after that. In He's Spain. Saying, this is Salahuddin. This is the time of Salahuddin and his descendants. This is in Fustat. This is in Alexandria. This is in Egypt. So, so to go on, to go on. So what Adnan doesn't mention is what it was actually like to live as a Jew. So now I'm going to go to Muslim sources. Muslim sources. So, when it comes to synagogue, we will neither erect... Which, which Muslim source is this? So this is the Pact of Omar and then all the, the scholars afterwards on the Pact of Omar. And what was the Tabari in various places, uh, in various uh, people. Okay, where... Adnan! No, 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 no. Uh, you, I didn't interrupt you. You asked, you asked me about the rabbis. Remember? remember? I was reading the, was. I yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm likewise. I'm not stopping you. I'm not interjecting. I'm asking for you to clarify okay, what what so the author. This, yeah. this is the pact of Omar, and then we'll go to what which is a forgery. Okay, so um, it's a forgery, by okay, the way. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So read it. Read it. No problem. I just want to clarify for everyone. It's a forgery. It the pact of Omar is a forgery. Almost every caliphate in force. So Adnan today in Speaker's Corner. It's saying it's a forgery, yet almost every caliphate... You're going to have to prove that. You're going to have to prove that every caliphate... Uh, I said did you hear that? Every every, every... every... Uh, E-V-E-R-Y, with capitals. Every caliphate okay. imposed it. Adnan. So, now you're going to have to show us how. Adnan. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Your time, your time. Just... Shh, shh. I'm waiting. Every now. Adnan. I want to see every. Adnan, stop talking. It's not so, your So turn. it's not every, right? Clearly, it's not every. Have you, have right. you noticed how yeah. terrified he is of letting it? I am so terrified that I wanna, I wanna hear Adnan, now about stop every caliphate. Talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm waiting. Twenty minutes more. We Twenty. Bring every, every caliphate. Adnan, you had your turn. I'm not your wife. You don't rule over me. It's my turn to speak. I don't rule. I don't rule over my wife. I don't rule over my wife. We will She's be... not my slave. Th you know thanks to about, Allah, thanks to Islam, thanks to Islam, you know all thanks to Islam. Slavery. You want to talk about what happens? We what happens? What happens? We you want to talk about wives? Erect. You want to talk about wives? We will neither erect in about. Okay, this is Omar the second, not Omar the first. I'll just get... So basically, the Pact of Omar says that Jews and Christians can't read their build, rebuild their buildings if they fall into disrepair. Adnan thinks it's a forgery. That's fine. Adnan's entitled to his opinion. I will court scholarship. Abu Yusuf. Who is Abu Yusuf? Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. I know who he is. I, I know you know who he is. That's so who's, you tell me who is Abu Yusuf. I told you who Maimonides, right? So, I told you who Maimonides. I quote the source and I give you an introduction. Who is Abu Yusuf? 
Who is Abu Yusuf? So Abu Yusuf. This is this is Fox News, NBC, and CNN put together, reading from Google. Adnan, Adnan, let me speak. Abu Yusuf. Adnan, let me speak. Abu Yusuf. Abu Yusuf. Abu Yusuf. Notice how he spoke for an hour, and I didn't interrupt him. Every time I make a comment, he heckles. He talks. Adnan, sorry. Let me speak. So. Under Islam, under most of the caliphates, Jews were not allowed to rebuild their synagogues. I'm now going to bring examples from history of that. Yeah? So, this is Umar II. This is our 8th century. Do not destroy any Jewish or Christian house of worship. Did you hear that? Yeah. Adnan, stop talking, mate. I did not interrupt you. We got to talk Not even the sanctuaries of fire worship. Why are you so quiet? You look so beautiful when you're quiet. On, you look so beautiful I, I, when you're I, quiet. I, I wish you farewell, mate. I'm not going to do it. No. Sorry, sir, continue. No, Joseph, continue. let Adnan answer me, please. Let him answer me. I've triggered her again. <laughs> I've triggered her again. <laughs> you okay. He did not answer. I want to ask when... No, I want him to continue. Jerusalem, you answer me. I will answer, I will answer. When was Jerusalem to any Arab country except to the Jewish people? When was Jerusalem? It's a capital yeah. of any Arab country except to the Jewish people. I will answer the question later on. Uh, no, no, it, it's, it, because this is time. Because, do you want me to answer her? Yes, um, yes, answer. Just because then I think she'll stop, no, she'll let us speak. So just answer. Okay. Jerusalem, Jerusalem has been, okay, when you say a capital, yes, a you capital. mean a capital of a Muslim dynasty? Yes, okay. Um, we, 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 yeah. we, we, we've had many Palestinian dynasties. Was that to do with a Palestinian or was a state? I, can I, no, you're not letting me answer the question. No, I want to answer you when you mislead people. <laughs> You say Palestinian. Can I answer you the question? Say, okay, answer me. Oh, can you I answer? Palestinian state, who was the last president? Who was, the, who was the last president of what? The Palestinian state you're talking about. When was Palestinian sovereignty? Never. Never. Okay. Never. Okay. So can I answer? I will, I will, I will ask you to read a book written by a Jewish scholar. I don't want to read. I cannot read. I want you to answer. Me. Okay. I will give you two. I will. I'm answering. Can I? Can you let me finish? Can you? Tfaddal. So let me. Yeah. 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 You're saying tfaddal, but you're not letting me. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will invite you to read two books. Okay, two books. The answer is there. History of Jerusalem by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yeah, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Karen Armstrong, History of Jerusalem, and another by a Jewish scholar, History of Palestine by a Jewish scholar. Okay, it's published by Cambridge University Press, and it covers the entire Islamic period. Okay, you will see the importance Palestine in general. <sighs> In, me, let me, please, please enlighten me. Okay, please. Please enlighten me. Okay. I was the last president of Palestine, so-called Palestine. I, I, I don't, I don't accept, I don't accept this leadership to be proper leadership what, of the Palestinians. Yeah. Don't yeah, they're, they're not sincere point. with the people. Continue. Okay. So mm. okay. Back there. Now let me finish as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, like to to on I want you to enlighten me. You, read you want to be enlightened? What? You want to be enlightened? No, I, I know a lot of things. But, but do you to want me to enlighten you? Then you have to let me enlighten you. No, I want. I don't. Well, want you to shut up and let him answer. No, no, no. Don't be rude. I want you to answer. She's elderly. We have to respect her. Are you talking? about us occupier when he was the muslim come from Algeria, you, you occupied the middle east you called it for too hard your occupation you're right you're, we you're right return to our land Okay, no problem. It's ours. Okay. So don't talk no, about no, Zionism. Right, just, just okay. It's ours. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I will let you speak now. You've said what you wanted to Thank you. Thank you. Now, over to you, Joseph. Oh, your, your 30, 40 minutes, go on. The timer, the timer has gone. Our timer has run away. Our moderate, where is mo the moderator? The moderator has given up. Okay, Joseph. 
It's recording, the sound is working, I can see it. Leave it alone and come in, finish your go. Because you're running out of evidence, I can see it. Okay. I can see it. The, the, you only got one or two lines left now. I've got loads, I've got yeah. literally multiple lines. No lines. problem, Google, so. Google lines. Adnan, scary that so I'm going to speak now. Adnan tried to present. Adnan tried to present a history of Jews under Islam, where Jews occupy, occupied high positions, they were a protected people, and they did not suffer persecution. That is a lie. And he knows it's a lie because he's read the sources I'm about to bring. I know you've read the Bari. I know you've read the Bari many times because you've quoted it to me. So, I'm waiting. So, this is Tabari. So he mentioned a rabbi who nobody's heard of saying that Jews didn't have to wear distinctive clothing under the Ottomans in that year. This is now Tabari. Okay. And this is in the year 853. Please do quote. But I was talking about the 15th century. When did Tabari live? I, so, uh, I'm not sure. You tell me when. So you don't know. I don't know. So, so how is Adnan? Adnan, can yeah. I just can I make? A I want you to read, Joseph. I want you to read. But how is Tabari relevant to my quote? My quote is from the 15th century. Yeah, later, after Tabari, yeah. How how Much later. how many years? I'd imagine uh, maybe. The, uh, 15th century, 400, 600 years? More than that. More, years. More, more than that. So, okay. 700, so uh, yeah, yeah. So, Tabari would have been 800. Tabari was alive in the, uh, in the in the 10th century. Tabari was alive in the 10th century. And we're talking about 500 years difference. So, 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 you're making something relevant. You said it was the 15th century. Yeah. 500 years. So between Tabari and the court. Years. Yeah, between Tabari and the court, I read. Yeah. It means 1400. Yeah. Okay, so 400 years, that's fine. Um, in this year, Al Mutawakil ordered, and this is the year 853, that the Dimma, the Dimmis, affixed two yellow sleeves to their outer clothes. So, one of the first people to make Jews wear distinctive clothing wasn't the Nazis with the yellow star, it was the Abbasids with the yellow sleeve. In this, and this is still Tabari, and this is now the year 853. In this year, the same, the same caliph, al Mutawakil, ordered that churches and synagogues newly built under Islam be destroyed. So he, the caliph declared that Jewish synagogues should be destroyed. In, again, this is in the year 1419. 1490. Sorry, sorry, 8543, sorry. Sorry? 853, sorry, still to worry. So not 14. The page, 853, the page okay. is 1419, sorry. Um, he ordered that they restrict them um, so that Jews restrict their mounts to mules and donkeys and avoid riding pack horses. So under the Abbasids, Jews weren't even allowed to ride horses. They had to humble themselves and ride donkeys. Um, employ this is a really interesting thing. Adnan talks about how Jews had these grand positions in Muslim society. What he misses out is why. First, they were the only ones that could do that. And the huge opposition that came from the scholars, from the ulema, to that. So I'm now going to read it from, uh, again. Um, this is now from a modern historian, Moshe Gil, Harun al Yashid. Rashid, Al Mamun and um, Muqtadir ruled that Jews, Christians should not be employed in public office except for physicians and money changers. So I'm going to continue. So, bear with me. Okay. No, ten minutes, ten minutes. no problem. Have your time. Have your time because my surgery is coming. <laughs> before the effects of anesthesia fade away, I want to I want to do my surgery before you wake up. Ibn Hubeira, who was the vizier to look I actually really love this one. This is really, really interesting. He loves this one. All Listen. agree that no new synagogues or churches should be built in Islamic countries, in cities either open or fortified. Opinion is divided over whether it's permissible to build a new house of worship near the city. Please, 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 please. You're disturbing the debate, brother. 
Malik, Shafi and Hanbali have said that it's too forbidden, but Hanafi said that if the place is near the city... You don't know what these things are? Yes, there's a format of it. Okay. What, what, is, what is the name? Um, so, I just said Hanbali, Hanafi, um, Shafi. No, 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 wait. Don't look. Tell me which four schools. What are the names of our schools? Yeah, what is this? So you don't, you don't know. You, you, you okay? Can you can you let let the camera see what you're reading from? Let them see. It's uh, it's, 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 a, it's a bunch of quotes that I put together. In yeah, it's a bunch of lines without context. Joseph does not have a clue. He he what he I has think, done? I he has collected he has collected Adnan, this information. Adnan, yeah. Stop talking. You asked me what they were. I said they're the four matabs, yeah? And I said there's unite this consensus. Continue. Continue. Consensus amongst them. Continue, that Joseph. A Jew, I, I don't need your permission, Adnan. That a Jew cannot build their house of worship and cannot build a new house of okay. worship under Islam. So what Adnan wants to do. He wants to present a history where Jews and Muslims are equal. When you read what it was actually like, so he said in the 15th century what it was like to live as a Jew under the Muslims in Israel. What he misses out in 1517, just a few years later, the entire community of Hebron was massacred. The Jewish community, the Jewish community of Jaffa was massacred. So Adnan cherry picks his quote. And what you'll notice was this happens every time we talk. This conversation started with Zionism. I challenged Adnan to a debate about Zionism, Zionism. And what he does every time is rehash his same old quotes, same old talk. Each time we talk, I bring different quotes. You bring the same old played out quotes, which you misquote, you misrepresent. You've never read. Let the people talk. decide. You've never read the primary source. OK because you misrepresent them. If he would, he brings sources which actually ridicule Islam and he brings them a proof of supporting and worshipping Islam. Okay, can so, I now? No, no, you can't. So I want to bring it back to what the debate actually started about, and that is Israel-Palestine. And Adnan made a disgraceful and shameful comparison between the modern state of Israel and ISIS. Now I'm going to rip that. It's a very good comparison. I'm going to rip that apart. Part. Israel. No, no, no. Wait. Is, no, First, let me deal no, with history. No, We're going to come to I'm Israel. Not, not, no, 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 no. Let me deal with I history. I literally said when I start. So I'm going to speak for an half an hour. You can speak for as long as you want. No, no problem. I'm going to speak. No problem. Good. Good. That's it. Surgery will be prolonged. <laughs> That's fine. Adnan. That's fine. Adnan made the disgusting comparison to the Islamic State. In Syria and Iraq. And the Jewish state of Israel. And Israel. Yeah. Israel. Just as Islamic Adnan as that state stopped. is, as Jewish is. Adnan. Stop. Israel is a secular democracy. There are two million Arabs that live there. They have complete equality with the Jews. So much so, so much so, there is an Islamic political party that is in the government today. They are in government. There are, there are Arab judges who sent Jewish prime ministers and presidents to jail. The best performing religious group in Israel in education aren't religious Jews, it's Arab Christians. Adnan wants to paint a picture where this beacon of democracy and equality in the Middle East is, comparison, is comparable to his co-religionists who enslave Yazidi women and rape and murder them, who behead people of other, even Muslims, who have a slightly different interpretation of Islam. They burn them, behead them. They you just made my point. They slaughtered hundreds of thousands of their own fellow Muslims and fellow non-Muslims who are living. You're helping me. In comparison, in comparison, hmm. Israel goes to incredible lengths to preserve the lives of Palestinian civilians. It treats Palestinians in its hospitals. It helps with the infrastructure. It provides electricity. So Adnan no, 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 no problem. Yes, I, I talked about it. I talked about it. I will address it. About it, if you don't let him finish, is he is ashamed by his co religionists and the greatest insult he can think of to tar any state with is to compare it to his co religionists in Syria. Okay, 
So can I now so respond? You can respond, yeah. Okay, good. So first to history, my surgery begins. What Joseph did, he read you quotes which he has collected from internet, from Google searches, uh, from Zionist websites, maybe Zionist propagandists. And he's, when, when, he, when he's reading of, when he's reading examples of persecution, he's reading of a Jewish man found Jizya to be very high. Another Jewish man was the wrong, uh, was wrong in such and such place. But do you notice, did you notice when I read the quotes, they represented social realities. They represented, they represented a lot of people, how they lived under Islam and Muslims. I will continue with that. Okay. Now, the city of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, okay. What happened, what happened throughout history with the Jewish people is the question. How did they feel under Islam? There are books written by academics. Now I challenge Joseph, how, how do we come to the conclusion? I can read quotes and quotes and he will read all his snippets and then people will be confused. One simple challenge, one simple challenge. Academics who are recognized by institutions as scholars, wait. Scholars. Yeah, okay. Moshe Gill is a preeminent scholar on Jewish Islamic relations. Read him. Uh, yeah, Moshe Gill is the one who wrote the history of uh, Palestine. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. the Have one. You read him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah you I know. know I. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Have you read Moshe Gill, right? Yeah, I've got both his books. Okay, good. Brilliant. That's so nice. I'm so happy to hear that. Have you read? Have you read Amnon Cohen? Um, no. Okay. Have you read Jacob Lesnar? No. Have you read um, uh, Bernard Lewis? Yes. Uh, okay. You. Which one? Um, the history. Jews of Islam. Yeah, Jews of Islam. Have you read it? Yes. Have you read the book? Are you sure? Several years ago. What does he say? Okay, what does he say in that book about Mus the Jews and the Muslims? So he okay, he now now we're getting somewhere. He has read the book. Now let's see if he's honest so about I, it. I disagree with Bernard Lewis. Ah. Uh, Bernard Lewis. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Mo Moshe Gill. I, Moshe by Gil. the way, all the people I mentioned are Jewish. All the people I'm Amnon Cohen, Moshe Jewish. Gil. But Moshe Gill is Bernard Lewis. Lewis. Jewish, Jacob Lesnar, Jewish. He the has, you know, remember, is Moshe Gil. just I want you to notice his body language. When he mentioned Moshe Gill and he became excited. I've he read is, it, I've read it, is. I've got two volumes. Okay, but when I mention other Jewish scholars, a plethora of them, uh, have you read Zion Zohar? No, but you are. Okay, uh, you uh, yeah, you, okay, okay. And do you want me to keep mentioning names? You can mention I'm gonna names. give you a list of Jewish scholars who will dismantle your Zionism okay. historically. They will show you how disingenuous you people are. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't, okay, so wait, 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 wait. He's playing Please. tricks. No, it's my turn. Okay. Okay. So you were asking wait, me wait. questions, so I was okay. responding to your questions. So, so how do we know what J J Joseph is saying and what I'm saying? Uh, we go to secondary sources. We go to Jewish scholars and non-Muslim scholars who have written on this phenomenon, okay? They will tell you they will tell you that the Jews lived under Islam in protection and prosperity. Jewish scholars, I'm not talking about Muslim propagandists, imams, or Muslim theologians writing these books, trying to present them to the Zionists. Jewish scholars are writing this, such as, for example, okay, Dean Philip Bell. Who? Dean Philip Bell. Philip Bell. Yeah, who is a Jewish. professor of it. Who is a professor of Jewish history but is he in the Jewish? Philip, uh, just sound of um, name, that's why I'm asking. No, no, he's a professor of Jewish history, Jewish he's studies. Jewish. Okay, I don't know if he's Jewish. We can check. I'll okay, check Dean What's Philip it? Bell, Dean Professor Philip. Dean Philip Bell, who is at, who is dean and professor of Jewish history at Spertus Institute of Jewish Studies in Chicago. This is what he had to say in his book. Okay, what does he say? He is a professor of Jewish history. He is a current recent scholar who has studied all of these quotes and beyond. What does he say? Jews under medieval Islam never suffered from same general negative perception as in the Christian West. Are you listening? Despite regional variations and high medieval political instability in medieval Islam, multicultural environments combined with active engagement in sciences and literature led to something of an Islamic golden age for the Jews. At least according to most historical accounts. So what Dean Philip Bell, a professor of Jewish history in, Sh in an institute in Chicago is saying most historical accounts tell us 
that the Jews had a golden age under Islam. Okay? And then he continues, it has been primarily in the context of recent political developments that the once assumed positive view of Jewish life under medieval Islam have been seriously questioned. What recent political developments is he talking about? What? The State of Israel. The State of Israel and the Zionist, and the Zionist movement, right? It is only the Zionists who have challenged this golden age of Islam uh, of the Jewish people because it goes against the agenda. What do the Zionists argue like Joseph has been arguing? Why are we even having this debate? The reason we're having this debate is because Joseph was a, was a Zionist, proud Zionist, self-proclaiming Zionist. He has said that Jews needed protection. Their lives were in danger. What happened in Germany could happen again. Even though some scholars said that if Muslims are ruling Germany, we would have 6 million more Jews in the world today. Okay, some Muslim scholars said this, right? So why do the Zionists have to make up this lie and this story that the Jews were heavily persecuted under, under, under Islam, even though the overwhelming majority of Jewish historians writing on Jewish history, yeah, they say that the Jews lived under Islam in harmony and protection for over a thousand years. And who is saying this? Not Muslim historians, Israeli Jewish historians, including Bernard Lewis, who was seen as an authority on the history of Islam. He died over 90 years old. He was advising the US government during the Iraq war. He actually advised President Bush to attack Iraq. Bernard Lewis, this is hostile. This is how hostile this person. He has written a book titled The Jews of Islam. In this book, he states what? The Jews lived in relative harmony under Islam. Such a hostile person to Islam and Muslims is writing this and he doesn't like it because he's a Zionist. He's, uh, Bernard Lewis, Bernard Lewis Bernard, yeah, wait, wait, he, 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 he did, he did. And then his conclusion was that all of these exceptional events and incidents put together cannot outdo or outweigh the positive experience of the Jewish people for over a thousand years with Muslims. This is his, this is his conclusion. And not only that, other Israeli scholars, the surgery commences. This is the surgery. Now Joseph is going to enjoy the surgery. Amnon Cohen. Why do Israelis, Zionists like this man, have to argue that the, the Jewish people had no chance under Islam, even though they survived? Brother, 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 we are having a debate. We're in the middle of a debate. So I'll come back to you. Okay. Amnon Cohen, a Jewish historian from Israel, studied the documents stored in the archives of the Sharia court of Jerusalem, commonly known as Sigil, from the 16th century, whereby he found 1,000 Jewish cases filed from the year 1530 to 1601 with the Sharia court. Cohen published his research in 1994, and during his research, he made some astonishing discoveries as he himself states, and I quote Cohen, he states, cases concerning Jews cover a very wide spectrum of topics. If we bear in mind that the Jews of Jerusalem had their own separate courts, the number of the cases brought to Muslim courts, which actually meant putting themselves at the mercy of a judge outside the pale of their communal and religious identity is quite impressive. The Jews went to the Muslim court for a variety of reasons, but the overwhelming fact was the ongoing and almost permanent presence there. This indicates that they went there not only in search of justice, but did so hoping or rather knowing that more often than not, they would attain redress when wronged. The Jews went to court to resolve much more than their conflicts with, the, with Muslims or Christian neighbors. They turned to Sharia authorities to seek redress with respect to internal differences and even matters within their immediate family, intimate relations uh, between husband and wife, nafaka maintenance payments to divorce support, 
and infants, etc. He continues, their possessions were protected, although they might have had to pay for extra protection at night for their houses and commercial properties. Their title deeds and other official documents indicating their rights were honored when presented to the court, being treated like those of their Muslim neighbors. Keep in mind, this is an Israeli scholar called Amnon Cohen writing about the condition of the Jewish people in the city of Jerusalem in the 16th century when the Ottomans were ruling the city under Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. And he continues, the picture emerging from the sigil documents is baffling. On the one hand, we encounter recurring Sultanic decree sent to Jerusalem in response to pleas into response in response to pleas of the Jews. The Jews are pleading with the Sultan to the effect that nothing should be done to stop them from applying their own law. Regarding a variety of matters, there are also many explicit references to the other overriding importance of applying Sharia law to them only if they so choose. On the other hand, if we look closely at some of the inheritance lists, we see that the local court allocated to female members of Jewish families half the share given to male members, exactly as in Islamic law. This meant ipso facto a, signi a significant improvement in the status of Jewish women with respect to legacies over the accorded, uh, over that accorded um, them by Jewish tradition, although it actually meant the application of Islamic law and, and in an internal Jewish context. He, the Muslim judge, defended Jewish causes jeopardized by high-handed behavior of local governors. He enabled Jewish business people and craftsmen to lease properties from, from Muslim and endowments on an equal footing with Muslim bidders. More generally, he respected the rituals and places of worship and guarded them against encroachment even when the perpetrators perpetrators were other muslim dignitaries he doesn't stop neither do you <laughs> amnon cohen now concludes having studied the sigil court records a jewish israeli scholar published this research in 1994 and i'm quoting him word by word against what zionists like joseph argue that Jews were always persecuted, they were always in a state of fear, they never prospered, they were always being brutalized by Muslims, and the list goes on, right? And using what? Those snippets he used earlier. And this is what modern scholarship of the Jewish people has to say to the Jewish people. His conclusion is, Amnon Cohen, and I quote, no one interfered with the internal organization or the external cultural and economic activities. In a world where civil and political equality or positive social change affecting the group or even the individual were not the norms, the Sultan's Jewish subjects had no reason to mourn their status or begrudge their conditions of life. The Jews of Ottoman Jerusalem enjoyed religious and administrative autonomy within an Islamic state and as a constructive dynamic element of the local economy and society they could and actually did contribute to its functioning so what point am i trying to make you tell us this is a jewish scholar from israel and there's a list of them there are many jewish scholars who simply cannot lie even though some of them are spin doctors no doubt some of these zionist academics teaching in Israel and beyond, they like to spin facts or they like to downplay the Islamic role in the well-being of the Jewish people, generally speaking. But there are those who know their integrity, their credibility is at stake. That's why people like Bernard Lewis, as hostile as he was to the Middle East or to the Arabs, in his public lectures, he said openly, in, in fact, in one of the lectures delivered in Israel in front of these Zionist Jewish activists, he said to them, there is no doubt that the Muslims allowed the Jewish people to live in harmony and peace. Okay? There's no doubt about that. Don't ever question that. Okay? So how on earth can Zionist activists like this can come and start quoting from primary sources out of context? Now, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to finish now. I want him to now bring me 
a recognized Jewish academic, let's say not Christian, not, uh, uh, not an atheist, not a Muslim, a Jewish academic who has said that Jews were persecuted throughout the Muslim history in the Muslim lands. One Jewish recognized Masikha. academic. OK, OK, no, no, quote him, bring his quotes, bring his quotes, bring his conclusions. Read to me what he said. I want you to know I produced. How many did I produce? How many? You've been listening to me. I produced a number of authorities from the Jewish sources to argue that the Jews flourished prosperously under Islam. I produced many. And did I quote one Islamic source? Did I quote one Muslim source? I did not. I'm relying heavily on Jewish sources. I want him to now produce one Jewish academic recognized by Western institutions or any reputable institution who said that the Jews as a norm suffered under Islam throughout the history of Islam within the Muslim civilization. Listen Yalla, me, so over to you. What I find amazing Respond. about this is Adnan claims to be a historian and he just ridiculed me for using primary sources. This is absolutely... So for those that don't understand how history works... Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. now Mr. Historian is going to teach us. Yeah. Do you have you a have, qualification in history? You have, you know, I have. You I do. Have, I know you do. Which is the I, I do. the comedy of what you just uh, said. No, no, no. So, so I can, Adnan, I can, Adnan, I can, Adnan, I can stand talking. and say, let me teach Adnan, you how history works. Adnan, stop talking. You have what's called a primary source, which is the original. You can tell us how Zionism, Zionism works. You have a primary. How Zionist source, history works. And yeah. generously a translation of that primary source, which is what Adnan relies on. And then you have the secondary sources, which is the interpretation of those primary sources. Now, I brought you primary sources that were both Jewish and Muslim, from Tapari to Maimonides, from the Cairo Geniza to wandering historians who went to... Uh, Conclu conclusions. So... Academic conclusions. What, what I gave you was the primary sources, and Adnan ridiculed them. What he's not telling you is every historian has a bias. Every historian has an agenda, usually. He's right, he's right. What Adnan's doing is he's taking that person's interpretation of history and presenting that because it supports his narrative. Jewish he's academics. also misrepresenting that. So Bernard Lewis, his favorite person to quote, talks extensively about the anti-Semitism that Jews suffered under Islam. Moshe Gill, who is the academic that the academics quote, he is the, or was the authority on Jew the Jewish condition under Islam. From the Geonic piece, from the very emergence of Islam through to, to the, the, the Ottoman period. He is the, the authority, the historian, the historian's quote, and he is explicit in his writing. Re read, read, read his conclusion. I haven't got the book to me. I'd have to bring the book up. Okay, the then don't make up. claims. Okay, Adnan, the, what, you literally just quoted Bernard I Lewis. I quoted out. people. No, no, you just said, Bernard Lewis said this to some Israelis in an audience. Like every time you quote, when I look it up, it's a lie. Every time. Every time. No, 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 stand by that. Hyperbolic. No, mo, mo, okay. I was being hyperbolic. Okay. Most times. Okay. Bring, Most times. Bring sources. One, 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 one. Wait, no, 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 no. This is a very no, serious no. claim. Adnan. Most Adnan. times. Adnan. I did not one. interrupt. I did not one example. I did not interrupt you. Not what? You can't lie to people and expect me to not interrupt you. One example where I misrepresented Adnan. the quotes. One example. Adnan, one. He said, first he said every time. Then he went okay. back on that. He said most time. That was hyperbole, right? Now I'm challenging you hyperbole, right? Now, most times, all I'm asking for once, one, one example. Yalla, you know, you, know, you can't, you can't just run away, throwing, throwing, what you'll also throwing, notice, what you'll notice, beep on the fan, what you'll notice, you know, as they say, when it hits the fan. I presented primary sources of Jews who live under Islam. One example. I, I need an example. Adnan. Wait, wait, wait. Adnan. Oh, take it back. Adnan. Take it back. Take what back? No, you said. Most times I misrepresent history and quotes. Okay. One example. Me, ya Allah, now we're talking. It's going to be fun now. One example, one example. He's going to go on Twitter. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, remember he said every time and then he went back on so most is, times and what, now he can't even, this, he can't even this, think of one example. This is what Adnan said. Adnan claimed on video, and anyone can go back. So that's one case, you say. But before you presented one case, the multiple cases from that time. Okay, right. so you're going to present all those multiple cases, yeah. yeah? Inshallah. Good, good, good. Now we're dealing with it. So what did I say? So Adnan said, "We have been honoured by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place." Yes. 
Now, it doesn't say that anywhere. And the reason why this where, is... Where, sorry, sorry, where, 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 where? So this is where, 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 where? the Petron, no, no, no. Sefer Petron for that. No, Sefer Petron. Yeah. Yeah. So where, do I, where, 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 where is that? So this is, so you said on camera... No, 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 read, the, read what I posted. That's not, that's not no, no, read what I posted, brother. Okay. You can't read what that's you posted. He's reading from what he posted. That's a screenshot, right? He, he's reading for what he thinks I said. Read from what I, I posted. Get You're gonna have the, uh, you know, this is surgery gone wrong. This is, this is. Now we, we're looking for this instruments. Is, this is the quote that I. You're gonna have the right of your life today. This is the English quote that I've been quoted. Uh, okay, where from? I don't know where you quoted it. Oh, good. What do you do? <laughs> if you don't know where I quoted it from. I can go back to no, you, 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 I, I'm assuming you might have checked it, right? So that we have I quoted the book title, the page, and the exact quote screenshot from the page. You're going to have fun today. You're going to have fun. He said, first he said, all the times I misrepresent history. Then when I challenged him, he said, Adnan, most times. Adnan, can I respond and now he's struggling to find one. Go on. So I'm going to go through each one of the ones you brought. Yeah, yeah. So let's leave the them one by one. In the, the people in whose hand the temple is today mm -hmm. have made it into a choice, into a choice, excellent and honorable place of worship. Yes. They say, let us worship the one God who created heaven and earth, to whom the creatures belong until the coming of the Messiah. And on that day, the true worship will be renewed and will be acceptable before God. Okay. Gonna, before, before we get into what it actually says, I'm going to ask you, what language did you quote? I took this quote from a history of Jerusalem authored by Karen. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay. Authored by Karen Armstrong. Okay. When I quoted this source, I, because Karen Armstrong is a reputable scholar, she's lecturing around the world. She's a well-recognized scholar. Okay. And she is uh, qualified in her field. She actually taught Hebrew at university. As far as I know, I read, wait, 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 finish. Let me finish. You asked me a question. She quoted this very quote in a book, A History of Jerusalem. I took it word by word and I pasted it. So now he's claiming that I misrepresented the the original. Okay, that's what. So, okay. Can, can so, I, now, so now you're going back on it. No, you're going back on it. Listen to what good, I'm saying. Good, 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 good. So they're getting smart. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So Adnan was ridiculing me before for using primary sources and he's fully reliant on secondary sources. Yes, I am. And here's I have the problem. To. Yeah. I read, I went, Sefer Petron um, was one of the hardest books I ever managed to source. It does not exist in English. You can't get it in any Jewish bookshop. You can't get it on Amazon. Amazing. You can barely get it anywhere. I managed to I, find, I found it straight I, away. No, you didn't. I you found didn't. it straight away. In Hebrew. Google, Google Sefer Petron. Now, right now, I'm going to show you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this wait, wait, wait. This is going to be fun. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be. Because I found Sefer, it in Hebrew and it doesn't Sefer. say anything that he says. What you're going to find is... Whoa, 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 Let's see. This okay. Sefer Petron Torah. Can you see? That's a different it's, book. Wait, 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 wait. It's a different book. It's a different book. Is this a different book? Yeah. Sefer Petron Torah. This is the book I quoted. Hebrew. Yes. It's in a, Hebrew. It's a different no. book. There's so, two books with so, the same name. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this, is the, this is the guy we're dealing with. This is what I have to put up with every single week in the park. Okay. This, this, the, uh, he's calling me a clown. He's been calling me a clown. Okay. And I'm telling him where to find his Jewish sources. Right. So this is, it's a simple Google search. Sefer, S-E-F-E-R, Petron, P-I-T-R-O-N, Torah, T-O-R-A-H. Do that, you'll find the Hebrew text. And he said, it's the most difficult book to find. I'm not surprised. Most books are very difficult for you to find because you can't, you don't want to read them. This is, okay. this is the best bit. So I'll ask him again. Show me the text inside that book. So, so, so you were no, wrong. No, no, Sorry. Not at all. Wait, so at least have it. some integrity and say, I apologize for all my blunders. First, I accused him of, of, of getting history wrong mostly, of, all the time, all the time. I said all the time. So I got, I managed to get my BA and my masters and I'm doing my further studies. So, all of these scholars in these universities are mark, marking my essays, must be a bunch of so fools or I'm must not, be anti-Zionist for them I'm to even pass my challenge. exams. Show me the text inside that book now. Which? I, I don't it's listen. A are you not listening to me? Are you are you, are you partially so, deaf? Adnan. Okay. Let me, again, I said I quoted, text. I took this quote so, from again. the uh, history of Jerusalem authored by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yes, Karen Armstrong. When did I claim I, 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 wait wait wait? When did I claim ever so in I, my I, 
Are you Stop listening? Talking. No, I'm not listening. Are you listening? You're not because you're making speaking. things up. So, okay. You're making things for the, for the up. I never said I read the Hebrew. I never said I read the entire Hebrew text. Because I claimed that this quote is there and it is used in this context, the context I used it in by Karen Armstrong in a book, A History of Jerusalem. Karen, Period. You I, can go back to our first conversation on this point. For some reason, this guy cannot get this into his head so for the last Karen two years. Armstrong, Karen Armstrong, I imagine, has never read the quote either. It is incredible. Now he's claiming Karen Armstrong it's who incredible. taught Hebrew. Incredible. Actually, I don't know if it's he taught. It's incredibly difficult to solve. I'm gonna read her credentials now. I, you're gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna have the, you're gonna have the right of your life Karen today. Armstrong, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm gonna she's read. She's Jewish. She's a, she's a nun. Who said she's Jewish? Did I say she? Did I say she's Jewish? No, no. So what are you? So, what, what's again, wrong with you, man? Again, are you hearing things? Again. Is someone whispering Adnan, to you? Adnan, Adnan, why are you so afraid to let me speak? Yeah, I'm not. Then shut up. <laughs> so. The book is incredibly difficult to source. I managed to track down a PDF version of it in Hebrew. I went through it. It says nothing of what he's saying. There's a quote that kind of roughly resembles what he's saying. What it goes on to say is it ridicules Islam. It calls Muhammad a madman. And what Adnan doesn't know is any of this, because if he knew how it insulted Islam, he would never have brought it as a proof. Most Jewish sources I quoted today, I will, I will help him, so, are hostile to Islam. Most Jewish sources I quoted today are hostile. So when did I claim this guy? What, what the problem with him is he builds a straw man. He builds a and straw man and speak. because he doesn't know what are a straw man is. No, no, no. And he attacks it. I never claimed that these Jewish sources are pro-Islamic and they are praising. They what they are saying is their experience with Muslims living in the domain of Islam was positive. They're not saying Islam is true. If they thought Islam was true, why would they be rabbis? Why would they even write in Hebrew, uh, you know, these commentaries? They are not Muslims. They don't believe in Islam. They believe Prophet Muhammad was an imposter. He was not a true prophet. I'm telling you this. So why are you attacking straw man? When did I say, Adnan, when, when did I say Sefer Petron is a pro-Islamic text? When did I say that? You were saying that they were, they was literally. No, in that your, quote, what your, in that quote. Again, I'll read what you said. Adnan, I'll read this guy's a said. waste of time. We have been honored by the Muslims that we worship together the same God in this holy place. We have been honored. When you actually read what the book says, it says nothing of the sort. Now, I'm not going to say- Karen Okay, Armstrong I'm going to take you up on that. I'm going to get, I'm going to get someone to the read- the, uh, No, 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 the, no, the, the actual, the yes, actual, yes. wait, wait, wait. The if, okay, wait, there has to be some, some kind of, uh, some kind of, a compensation for all the pain I'm going through because you know sur surgeons when they do surgery it's, it really drains the brain you know because it's now it's been killing my brain for the last two hours wait okay wait 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 okay no problem and you're struggling to show us how okay wait 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 I'm gonna get the Hebrew text Definitely. translated Thank you. word by word Thank you. and if it says what Karen Armstrong claimed it says then what Joseph some kind of compensation do you all agree do you all agree there has to be some kind of price to pay right what price is it what are you gonna pay what are you gonna pay if the Hebrew text word by word word by word says what Karen Armstrong translated so okay wait if as I said, wait wait, wait. if a Jewish rabbi confirms I'm gonna get a Jewish rabbi to read that text translated word by word in context uh, no 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 wait, wait. If, otherwise listen. i can say wait wait wait. Okay. Strike the neck of wait, the wait 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 what is the context read the quote again what is the context so, uh, but, can you read the hebrew you have the hebrew there no, 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 no. you don't have it you got it wrong right okay so he have you read the hebrew of that quote yes, yes. you have do you have it now no i just said i don't have it now. okay you don't have it I'm now got a okay okay okay, okay. if the hebrew text says exactly what karen armstrong claimed it says what price are you willing to pay and put a price on me as well put okay. a price on me as well so what equally saying, has to be equally has to be fair so what I'm huh? saying, sorry challenge haram should not pay no 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 so no no it's a, it's a it's a gift i'll give i'll buy him a gift i'll buy him a bunch of roses no problem so okay what, oh, be, wait wait i'll be explicit no 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 i i i'm, I'm putting a challenge out there I, I, I want to be explicit no, no. as i said don't be explicit there is a quote that resembles that, but when read in context... We, we are dealing with it. We're discussing it. The, the yes. Sefer Petron is a, is a book that is an anti-Muslim polemic. It is not a book which endorses... So, the quote, the, phrases the quote, the quote. So, if, if, look, if there is a hostile enemy, 
and this is why this quote is more valuable to us. Now he's confirming it's a hostile source. And even, even though it's a hostile source, it is saying that these people on who, in whose hand the temple is today, who are they? The Abbasids, the Muslims. In the ninth, Sefer Petron is a ninth century source. It's a ninth century Jewish anonymous source written in Palestine. The person is an eyewitness. He or she is definitely a he, okay, is explaining that in the temple in, in the temple is in the hands of these people today and they have made it an honorable place of worship so this is a hostile source which he ag agrees to and admits is praising the situation in Paris. so joseph have some shame what kind of what kind of human are you man have some shame wait 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 let me let me if if that if that quote says what it says or what karen armstrong claimed it says what price are you willing to pay? Be brave. Let, let me be respond. brave. Zionists are brave, no? Zionists are brave. Adnan, yeah. let me respond, yeah. please. Yeah. You, you speak a lot. So I'll be again very clear for the camera. There is a quote which says something which resembles that, which... Uh, now it resembles. Which, so he has come from, doesn't say that, to Adnan, resembles. Adnan, okay. Again. I just want you to know Adnan, what, what is happening Adnan. here. Adnan. It resembles. Adnan, what I want to be... How, 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 Adnan, uh, stop talking and let me respond. Please. Okay. So the book is an anti-Islamic polemic. He presented it as evidence of the Jews honoring Muslims. What Adnan said in the actual quote we hear of the conversation, and there's nothing that he's unbelievable. So first, remember, so two minutes, two first, minutes. He claimed, so first he claimed that I put Ishmaelites in there. First he claimed. So this you, is, do you remember? This is what, wait, 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 Joseph, Adnan, fight. Stop, this, is, me, Adnan, this is an expose. Adnan, this is an expose I, today. I explicitly say there is nothing that resembles this quote, which is what you said. We have been honored by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. Nowhere in that book, When did I say that? On camera. That's literally what I was responding to. Okay, okay. Now, now, now. Stop, okay, let's no, assume stop. I said... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Stop. Yeah. That is what you said. Hmm. I said, I searched for that book. I found that book. There was nothing that resembles that. Okay, okay.